Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again with another video. I appreciate you guys for tapping in, showing love and support. But I want to talk about not letting people steal your light. Don't let them take your energy. Don't let them change who you are meant to be. Right, since we were young, and I'm talking for, you know, the specific few, you know who I'm talking to. When you were young, you always felt different. Even though you might have fit in with the crowd, right? You might have had friends. You always felt different still. And there's a reason why you felt this way. Okay? Because you came back here with a certain energy that's going to be used to change this world. You already came back with that energy. This is why you felt this way all your life. Now we are starting to awaken to our true selves and our purpose. So you'll find yourself having people trying to steal your light. People trying to drain your energy. People trying to change who you are meant to be. You know, it starts when we're young. The people that's closest to us are the ones that hurt us the most. You know, you had a little girlfriend, she broke your heart. You might have friends who broke your heart. And in that process of that happening, you started to gain a cold heart. You might have started to want to go to the bad side, you know, dabble in your dark side, which nothing wrong with that because you got to experience both. But we don't want to stay there. You already came back here with unconditional love. Meaning that no matter what happens to you, you don't lose that unconditional love. Because that's your power. You got to understand how powerful love is. I'm not talking about superficial love. Saying I love you, I love you. You know what everybody else is doing. The whole world is doing. Even though they don't mean it. You know, you've been in relationships. you saying I love you. And you just saying it out of habit. It's not even coming from the soul. I'm talking about true love. True love is when you are aware that you are connected to everything. You are one with everything. True love is understanding that God is within you. And God has always been with you. You're not separate from God. You know, that's what we've been taught. We've been taught that God is a separate entity from us. And it's not. God is all. God is all knowing all powerful which means that you have God in you and you never lost God and when you love yourself when you find that true love you're gonna find God again that's where it starts okay you never lost God you never God was never something that was separate from you you just forgot so you're gonna find yourself in these times having to show love that's the true energy right now that's the most powerful energy that's what's going to save you. And there's going to be people that's going to need that love from you. But don't let no one steal your light and steal your joy, steal your energy. And what, what I mean by steal is you don't want anybody trying to manipulate your energy to the point where now you don't love anymore. You know, I see it all the time. Guys get their heart broke and now they want to be this cold hearted person. That don't have no feelings, no emotions, you know, and want to do other people dirty. They, they want to transfer that pain and that hurt to other people. We don't want to go that route because now you're on the path of self-destruct. Okay, it is what it is, man. We are soldiers, so we have to have people come and hurt us. We got to feel that pain. That's what makes us stronger. We coming into this world full of evil a world full of pain and that's why you are here to bring that love back to help raise this vibration there's traps laid out here for us so that we can slip up and fall down into the rest of the energy of this world and we got to stay clear of that stay true to yourself if somebody did you wrong 
because you showed them too much love, let them deal with that karma. That don't have to be your karma. That don't have to be your problem. You're doing what you're supposed to do. And trust and believe you're going to be protected. People that do you wrong, when you have a pure heart, you're showing love, they're going to experience karma twice as worse, twice as bad. Right? So you ain't got to worry about that. Just keep moving in your light. Keep moving in your true self. And everything's going to be okay. But you got to protect yourself too. Have discernment of who you're giving your energy to. And it's, it's, it's confusing sometimes because there's going to be people that need your love. They're going to need your energy. You're going to spark something in them so that they can evolve. And there's nothing wrong with that. But then there's people that's going to come around you that's just going to leech off your energy. They just want to get your light, steal your light, and take it for themselves. And they're not going to give you anything in return. Stay clear from those people. Those are vampires. Right? Leeches. Scavengers. They don't have anything to give you, but they always taking. They always needing. Stay away from that, man. You can't be afraid to cut people off out your life. And that's facts. You got to cut people off sometimes. This is why this is such a lonely journey. Okay? I don't care how many people you have around you. You can get lonely still because it's an energy. It's a vibration. This is an illusion. This body, this, this, this temple, this veil, which is this matrix. And this is why it's breaking down because the veil is being lifted. The matrix is being lifted. You're starting to awaken into your true self. You're starting to see the true world for what it really is. This illusion, this matrix will try to break you. It'll try to put you in the mode of everybody else. The collective. Okay? And you got to stay clear from that. I'm not saying that, you know, we're better than the collective and that we got to separate ourselves. I mean, that's going to happen naturally because everything's going to fit in its natural order. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to get into the mindset, into the energy and fall back asleep. You was already asleep before. You can't go back to sleep. Right? You can be distracted, but you can't go back to sleep. So we want to stay clear from that energy. Find love for yourself. The best way to walk in your own light and not be distracted is find that love, that inner love. Because when you get back to that inner love, you get back to God, the kingdom of God within you. That oneness. Dropping the ego. We're not better than anyone. We are all one. And when you start to realize that, you're going to be able to spread your light, your love a lot easier. The people that did you wrong in your past, in your present, or even in your future, don't take it personal. Hurt people hurt people. Everything that you've been through in your life happened for a reason. So you become strong. You become tough. You don't need anything from anyone else. And you're able to help those. Even though they hurt you, even though you've been hurt before, you're still able to help others. You don't lose that light. You don't lose that love. Okay? This is why you went through so much pain in your life. It was grooming you. That's all it was. It was just training. It was practice. Right now, you are needed the most. Your love is needed the most. People are hurting out here. People are scared. People are frightened. People are lost. And it's your light, it's your love that's going to help guide them, guide them to themselves, help them find that light within. Okay? I'm telling y'all, it's getting real out here. It's a lot going on right now. It's a lot of chaos. And you have to be able to show love, have peace throughout this chaos. The world around us is burning, it's in flames. But you got to still walk in peace, walk in love. That's going to be your shield. Okay? Let those who need help come to you. Because they will. Your energy is too potent. Your light is too bright. And you're going to be like a beacon of hope for them. Okay? You're going to be like a lighthouse. In the, the dark sea. You know how the lighthouse shines? It shines so the, 
the ships at sea can can see that there's land. It gives them hope. Okay? So, I want you guys to keep walking in your power. Don't let your past affect you now. Don't let your hurt and your pain that you went through affect you now. You got to keep moving forward. The people that did you wrong, they were just reflecting their inner world. And this is how we got to start moving. You got to start realizing that people that treat you a certain way, they're just reflecting. They're just projecting. That's it. You don't have to latch on to that energy. You, you don't have to take it personal. See it for what it is. Use your third eye. Okay? Don't just rely on these two eyes to see what's going on around you. Use your spiritual lens. Okay? As a healer. Because most people are empaths who are on this path. Meaning you feel other people's energy and you are here to heal. So do that. If someone is sick, if someone needs help, of course they're going to be belligerent. Of course they're going to project pain because that's what they're feeling. Your job is to block all that out and to heal, to help. Okay? So, miss all the BS, sidestep all the BS, stay in your light, your bubble, your shield. Let that protect you. Keep your vibration high. Okay? The best way to do that is... Try to laugh each and every day. Find something that can make you laugh, something that make you smile, something that makes you happy. And latch on to that. Let that be your beacon of light. So when things get dim, when things get tough, you can latch on to that and it can remind you of who you are. It can remind you of the light and love you have for yourself. It never left. You were just distracted. Okay, so with that being said, guys, I hope this resonated with someone. I don't know who needed to hear this, but I hope you got the message. You guys want to um, book a one-on-one -on -one consultation, I'll leave a link in the description and in my pinned comments. That being said, y'all have a beautiful day, and I'm out. Peace.